So, DNA structure. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And just in its name, you can see part of its structure, the deoxyribose. That's the sugar. Okay, so some things about the structure. It is a double-stranded helix. So double-stranded means there's how many strands? Two. Two. And helix means it's twisted. Right. And what are the monomers for nucleic acids? Yeah. Nucleotides. Yeah, nucleotides. So there's nucleotides of the monomers. Right. So let's talk about the structure of a nucleotide. A nucleotide is made up of a, a phosphate group. Phosphate group, so PO4 is 2. It also has a sugar, it's a 5 carbon sugar called deoxyribose. So it's a 5 carbon sugar. Remember our rules for sugars the CH2O. So there's 5 carbons, 10 hydrogens, and 4 oxygens. And that's the deoxy part because this is missing one oxygen. And the last part is a nitrogenous base. Last part's a nitrogenous base. And there are four nitrogenous bases. Adenine, guanine, <coughs> Cytosine and thiamine. Adenine and guanine are purines, well, as the nucleotide. Adenine and guanine make up the purine nucleotides. Cytosine and thiamine make up the pyrimidines. If you have trouble remembering that, the pyrimidines have a Y in them. Cytosine and thymine have Ys in them. So does the word pyrimidine. Purines, and these are not two scale or even correctly drawn, but purines are larger. They're double ring structures. The pyrimidines are smaller because they're only single ring structures. So the purines are larger because they're double rings. Pyrimidines are smaller because they're only single rings. So let's draw one nucleotide. To draw a nucleotide, we're actually going to start with drawing the sugar, the deoxyribose. Which one did you say was larger? Okay. So to draw the deoxyribose, Are you drawing the deoxyribose or the sugar? The sugar is the deoxyribose. Sorry. So we draw this as five carbons. Remember, at each corner here, if it's not labeled, that's got to be a carbon. So each corner is not labeled, that's a carbon. And we label these clockwise. So this is one prime, so this is a carbon. There's another carbon, two prime, three prime, four prime. And the last carbon's out here. That's our five prime carbon. So this is the deoxyribose. Okay. So five primes out here, this last carbon. Attached to the 
five prime carbon is the phosphate group. And if you're just drawing the model, you can just put a circle with a P to make the phosphate group. Okay. And then attached to the one prime will be your nitrogenous base. Okay, we'll just draw them like that, like little hexagons. So that's a nitrogenous base. Which one could that be? Which nitrogenous base could that be? Either cytosine or thymine. So one of the pyrimidines. Okay, so this is one nucleotide. Notice that the nitrogenous base is attached to one prime, and the phosphate group is attached to the five prime. And for the purposes of our class, we don't really care where it's attached to an nitrogenous base. Let's make it attached somewhere. Okay, so this is one nucleotide. When we add these nucleotides together to make one strand of DNA, the phosphate group is going to be attached to the three prime of the other. Nucleotide. Okay, so all I've done is drawn two of those. Which, which uh, carbon is this one right here? It's the three prime carbon. So this is two nucleotides that are making up a strand. But remember, we need two strands. So we'll draw the other strand over here. So the Other strand over here, we'll draw and we still need to have our, our, yeah, our nitrogen space attached to one prime. Why is it upside down? Well, because the number of these are going to be anti parallel. Okay, and then we drew our other string. <clears throat> Notice that we have one pyrimidine that's going to be base paired with a purine. Yeah. And if there are two hydrogen bonds, which hydrogen bonds are what holds the nitrogen spaces together between the strands, if there are two of them, then the pyrimidine will be thymine and the purine will be adenine because A and T always match up which means C and G always match up. Okay, but guanine and cytosine have three hydrogen bonds between them. Okay, and so that is the basic structure of DNA. 
this strand runs three prime to five prime, and this one over here though is running three prime at the top and five prime at the bottom. This is why we refer to the strands as being <coughs> anti-parallel. Parallel. So the strands are anti-parallel. Got it? Okay, so review DNA is made up of these um, nucleotides, the double-stranded helix, has a, each nucleotide has a phosphate group, a deoxyribose, and then one of the nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases, the base, the nucleotides are joined together from each strand with hydrogen bonds. The direction of the molecule determined, is determined by which uh, carbon is open on the deoxyribose. One thing I didn't point out, this thing right here, we have the phosphate group and the deoxyribose, phosphate group deoxyribose. That's called the sugar phosphate sugar phosphate backbone. Okay, that's called the sugar phosphate backbone. Uh, the nitrogenous bases are always attached to the deoxyribose at the one prime. And they're anti-parallel because one runs three prime to five prime, bottom to top, and the other one runs three prime to five prime, top to bottom. 